Hi guys! Are you tired of the weak Wi-Fi signal and want to have access to high-speed internet in every corner of your large property? But installing a high-power PoE wireless access point that is distance away might be a challenge. But with the help of the PoE extender, now you can install access point up to 200 meters away and enjoy the uninterrupted connectivity without power supply limitation. So are you ready to experience the full potential of your network? And please like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling. And if you have any trouble with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And we'll be more than happy to solve your problem for you. So the high power PoE wireless access point is designed to withstand harsh weather condition and deliver high speed internet up to hundreds of meters. Now it is perfect for a large outdoor area like a parking lot or a campuses. Now with the PoE support, you can easily power up devices through a single ethernet cable, reducing clutter and making the installation a breeze. However, we all know the PoE has a distance limitation of 328 feet, that's about 100 meters. And it is due to the physics of electricity and the characteristics of Ethernet cable. So when the power is transmitted over an Ethernet cable, the voltage at the receiving end of the cable drops as the distance increases. And this voltage drop can result in loss of power it will causing the devices to operate improperly or not even not working at all. So without saying, let's move on to the demonstration board and I'll show you the whole setup for today. So here we are in front of the board and behind us is our setup today. We're going to connect the wireless access point and extend the distance for 200 meters using the PoE extender. Now you can transmit both power and data and extend the distance. It regenerates the power and amplifies the signal to ensure it can be transmitted over a long cable run. PoE extender will repeat this process for subsequent cable run until the PoE signal reaches to the edge device. This one I'm holding is the full metal PoE extender. It has one input port which is up to 9 watt, 90 watts power input and two output ports supply up to two devices at the same time. But keep in mind the first port, which is the upper output port here, has 60 watts of power maximum and the bottom one has 30 watts of power. This PoE extender is compatible with 802.3, AF, AT, and BT standard and also support up to 1 gigabit per second data transmission rate. And why are we using this PoE extender? Remember, our wireless access point here requires high power and it's also BT standard. That's why we should use the devices that's compatible with BT standard. And we are going to add a 90 watt PoE injector at the beginning because our wireless access point here uses about 40 watts of power. And this 90 watts of PoE injector will input 90 watts of power maximum. Also, this is a BT standard too. So make sure you use an injector or a PoE switch that is compatible with PoE 802.3 BT standard. And what does it mean by the BT standard? The BT standard is using a all four pairs of the wire in the ethernet cable while AF and AT standard only use half pair of the wires. Now without saying, let's do the connection together. This is the router to provide the main network. Now I'm going to use a short patch cord here to connect the router with our PoE injector. Now the injector has a data input port and a PoE output port. Make sure you use it to connect with the data in port to get data. And then use another ethernet cable here to plug in with the PoE output port. Now, 
This is a 100 meter Ethernet cable. And now let's connect the cable with the PoE extender. This is the PoE input port. Just simply plug it in here. And we can see the integrated lights is on. Now it's getting both power and data. And remember, I said there are two output ports with different maximum of output. This one has 60 watts of power, so we are using the first one. Let's plug it in here. And I took out the neck and the gland for faster installation, but normally it looks like this. And then this is another 100 meter ethernet cable. Now I'm going to use the cable to connect with the wireless access point. I'm going to plug it in. And let's see. The light is on. It takes a little bit time to run. So let's take a look at the PoE extender. We can see both indicated lights are getting on. And the wireless access point is now has both power and data at the same time. Here's one more thing. Since this is a fully metal housing PoE extender, so it has corrosion anti. It will protect the metal from corrosion and extend its useful life. Also, this is 100% IP67 waterproof. It can work under harsh environment. The working temperature is from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. And now I will show you in details. You can see there's rubber in here and this, when we screw it together and tighten it up, it will prevent water and even dust to get into the cable. That's why it's IP67 waterproof. And also, if you want to know how to use a PoE extender to extend wireless access point up to 1,600 feet, here's the video. And thank you so much for watching us today, and I'll see you next time.